Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name's Matt, and this is uh, day four in our seven minutes to learn Reason 7 in seven days. And in this video, we're going to go over audio quantizing and Rex loops. This is an awesome addition to Reason. And I have to say, out of all the DAWs I've ever used and tried to do audio quantizing in them, this way that they've created to do it in Reason is just easy as pie and it sounds great. It's just, I just love it. It's literally recycle built into Reason. And uh, it's been a long time coming and thank goodness it's here. So here we have an audio clip. Uh, I recorded a little uh, progression here. Let's, let's listen to it for a second. It's a simple little uh, chord progression on my uh, um, acoustic. I'm going to want to quantize this and manipulate it. So the first thing I have to make sure, and this is, I think this is set by default, but if it's not, this is the only way you can do it. You right click the audio clip and right here it is, disable or turn on the stretch feature. You have to have it on to be able to use quantizing. And you can, you can do it up here too. Disable or stretch. Uh, disable or enable. Okay, and you can only quantize audio after it's been recorded. You cannot do it while you're recording. With that being said, we'll double click the clip here. And it opens it up. It shows the slice markers here. And Reason does it very well. How they have it all set up. And if I go up here, and I'm going to want to quantize this to 8s, so I, I, I select it here. And you can see the markers are almost perfect, but they're just, it's just slightly out, just a, a smidge. And, but what I want to do first before I quantize it is I want to go into the comp editor and make my adjustments first before I quantize. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna go in here and I know I'm gonna wanna use this one here. And I'm just gonna give myself a little slice uh, crossfade there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce it to a new track. So now I'm gonna quantize this audio file. So I can close it. And now I have this audio file. So I'll double click it. And now you can see the markers are, there's a couple little different ones here. And what I can do with these markers is I can, I can select them and I can move them, right? If I have one selected here or a bunch selected, I can move them by, by uh, clicking and dragging or I can use the command key in, in OSX or shift Control shift in a Windows and right arrow or left arrow. I can uh, select a bunch of them by clicking and dragging in here like this. And it's, it's selecting the markers that way. I could, with these selected, uh, if you want to select just one, say you want this sample and you want to listen to them, uh, you can just... Say I like this sample for whatever reason. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select these two and I can right click and I can split. So now I have that one sample and I can do whatever I want with it. It's that simple. If I, if I want to select a bunch of them and I want to move all of them, then I grab down here in this little box and I can move them all. Okay, we've got our audio all comped and edited and now we want to start quantizing it. So I'm going to go in here and you can, you can see something here. You can see I have a couple markers here. I'm going to go in here and what these markers do is they tell 
reason where to the beginning and the end of each segment of or sample where it where it's going to be quantized to and you don't want to have these markers in places where it will quantize the audio and it, and it will start making it sound odd so I'm going to take this one and delete it I'm just going to listen here that's that's correct and that's pretty much the only ones I had to get rid of you can you can look in here and you can see how accurate it is now if you if you want now if you wanted to add a marker all you would do is is press the W key or the pencil tool and you could just add a marker and it's gonna snap to whatever setup here if the snap to grid feature is set or if you have it uh, snap to grid off, you can put it anywhere you want. It's that simple. So that's how you delete them and add them. So now let's, uh, let's look at quantizing this. And right over here, you'll have your three transpose types, all around, melody, and vocal. All around is polyphonic. It means two or more notes at a time. Melody is monophonic. It means one note at a time and vocal is vocals and what it does is it preserves the format of the audio file it's pretty simple um, for this one I'm gonna go all around which is polyphonic and I'm just going to right click and press quantize I could press F8 and go into my tool window and I can I can select value there and I can select amount if I if I want to change if I don't want to be hundred percent I do it in the tool window and uh, just let you know you can't quantize during recording audio can only be quantized after the recording so if I want to apply this I'll just apply it it just applied the quantizing and I'm all ready with my quantized audio clip it was it's really that easy so I can just click out of here and I got my audio clip what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna normalize this give it a little more volume yeah you can tweak it down a smidge and we can listen to our audio to a click track check it out Pretty cool so you know it's that easy so now if I want to go over here and I want to bounce these clips to new samples clip to the new disc clips to new recording or bounce the clip to a Rex loop it's all right here from the bounce menu and if you bounce samples then you can open it in uh, you, you know the Kong uh, in the NNXT and you can manipulate the samples that way it's pretty simple it's that easy but let's bounce this to a Rex loop and what you'll see here is it opens this up and what we do is we go to rack right down here to rack it creates a Dr. Octo Rex we can go to the Dr. Octo Rex Octorex here and open it up and there it is so you can manipulate it like you would any Rex file which is phenomenal it's that easy so let's go in here and see what we got we've got a quantized audio file here with the simple uh, guitar part and we have some drums here let's listen to that <music> and 
And you know what? We have the new spectral analyzer here. Check that out. And if I want, I can go here and I can create a parallel channel of this. Go in here and uh, let's look at this real quick. Uh, uh, an awesome tone. And then we can just add a little reverb or delay, I mean, to the high part. So there you go. It's that easy to quantize in Reason 7 now and create Rex loops. Unbelievably easy. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And you guys take care.